Hello there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Today I'm going to talk about the women black men find attractive. And um, I was inspired to do this just by some, uh, comment, uh, some comments on some of my recent videos uh, by women. Uh, I'm going to assume they were black women just by uh, how they were uh, presenting themselves. That black men are just you know checking for red bones with fat asses and you know and a lot of women have that general they have that your black women have that general stereotype they feel like they gotta be light skin you know quote unquote good hair and have a fat ass and i'm here to tell you that's some bullshit that's some bullshit, and I'm, I'm speaking from the man's point of view. Now, um, just as a point of uh, disclosure, y'all already know I like a fat ass. All right? Y'all already know I like a, a fat ass, and I'm just going to be raw with it. I don't usually uh, mention the mother of my sons, but um, well, she's a red bone and with a fat ass. And I'm just want to get that out of the way so you understand where I'm coming from, what I'm saying. You know, so I can't say, you know, there's a strong argument. I feel that stereotype. But that's Rom Wills. That's one person. And, you know, I check for who checked for me. And that's the end of the story. No explanations necessary. The thing is, to say that even the majority of black men are checking for that is an error. And this is based this is based on what black men themselves are saying, what we're checking for as a group. And the reality is black men find all types of women attractive as a group. If you're going to say we find anything attractive as a group, it's all types of women. All types of women. Let me say that again. Because even when I did the loaf of videos, even when I did, I did two loaf of videos. I had a lot of brothers get on those videos and comment. A lot of those brothers got on there and commented that, well, they disagreed with me. And it was very, very respectful, very respectful. Grown men can talk to disagree with each other. And they said, well, you know what, Rom, I ain't checking for, I ain't checking for fat asses. You know, I like women with big breasts. Shoot, quite a few of them <laughs> were quite eloquent on it. I'm, I'm calling you out, Trader Joe, <laughs> bro. <laughs> you let me know. And that's fair. Now, you know, my mentor, my mentor, you know, he tell you big breasts. And, you know, and then there's some brothers, you know what? They just like them slim. They like them petite. I've seen many a brother. You thinking they'd be wanting some like video vixen or something and they get that little petite tiny woman and they good to go. They they love it. Or, you know, you got some they want the more athletic build woman, maybe who, who don't have that dunk on them, but maybe a nice proportionate body. You know, then, you know, there's brothers who like legs like, you know, me, I like big legs, too. I like big legs. In fact, you know, a woman don't have to have as much of a dunk. If she got real big, shapely legs, shoot, I go crazy. Shoot, I just be like, well, well you got nice. Okay, well, well, you don't have to have a dunk on you. Shoot. And, you know, and I've had, shoot, some brothers even go crazy over feet. You know, they shoot. If a woman walk out the house, she got that nice little pedicure on, you know, got some sandals on, you know, a little heel on them. The brothers go crazy. They just hand over their wallet. And, you know, and also, you know, a lot of times black women get, you know, they think, well, this brother ain't going to like me because I'm, um, I'm dark complexion. And then I've actually heard some women who are light complexion thinking a oh, brother might not like them because they, they're not dark complexion. You know, it's like, wait a minute. Hold up, y'all. The thing is, every brother has a preference. Yes, you have some brothers who do have a preference for light-skinned women. And then you have some brothers who have a preference for dark-skinned women. And see, I'm, I'm going to get more into the dark-skinned women because you have a lot of dark-skinned women, black women, who feel like brothers not going to check for them, you know. 
and but and it's probably they probably encountered some dude that they like who wasn't checking for them but it probably wasn't because of their complexion it was probably just the brother just wasn't feeling them. like the number of brothers who i would say are truly let me say that again truly color struck is very rare when i say color struck in terms of they would just totally kick a woman to the curb because she wasn't a certain complexion that's small that being said most brothers do are going to have a, a preference and that preference is based on it can be based on a lot of factors you know one of the biggest factors is what was the brother's imprint you know if the first women that accepted him were a certain complexion certain body build that's what they're going to go for you know also what did the women in his family look like because here's some signs for you if you want an idea what any man's going to like look at the women in his family same thing with women they always going to go for the type of that type that's in their family and that that's that's some deep stuff that i if i y'all ain't ready for me to get into that science but it's just it's just real i'm giving it to you partially you know, you're always going to be attracted to similar DNA, like it or not. So, in a lot of brothers, you know, when, you know, speaking about the chocolate sisters, a lot of brothers not only express a preference for it, and I'm, when I say a preference, you know, that preference is in private. You know, they, they shoot, they ain't, they not trying to impress somebody on some social media or something saying it. They saying this in private. Or, you know, when brothers sitting around the barbershop or wherever talking about sisters, you know, they might be talking about the body and all of that. But, you know, they, you know, they'll say, well, yeah, this sister real fine. She got that real pretty chocolate skin and all of that. And, you know, some brothers, like I said, some brothers, that's what they like. Some brothers like some other stuff. But it's, it goes across. It goes across the spectrum. See, one of the things women have to do, black women, black women, this this about black women, black women have to do is stop worrying about the dude who ain't feeling, who ain't like responding when you choosing them, who ain't trying to chase you down. Figure out the ones who trying to get at you. Because like I said, I've known women of all body builds, body builds who had somebody checking for them. And it's just, it's, it's every single woman. It's going to have somebody check for them just based on their uh, body. Or some some women might not even have much of a body, but just have a real pretty face. They're going to have some dudes checking for them. And speaking of face, let's, let's talk about the hair thing. Let's talk about the hair thing because you have a lot of women who basically wearing this yak hair and weaves and stuff because they feel like it, it attracts the men. Um... Ladies, y'all be hard pressed to find anybody who finds that shit attractive. Y'all be hard pressed. It's more or less a case of we'll tolerate it because of other things that woman's bringing to the table, and we don't feel like arguing. But there's a whole lot of men who prefer black women who wear natural hair. A whole lot, or at least you know, if even if they gotta press their hair or something, at least not wearing some um, hair from someplace over in India. You know, and I know a lot of sisters say, well, we see you with the uh, women who got their hair like that. Um, look at their face and look at their bodies. That's probably, <laughs> that'll tell you more than what's on their head. And I'm going to use an example of it. I knew this uh, sister. I still know her. We still, we still cool. Facebook friends, right? And if she ever listens to this video, she'll know who I'm talking about, right? Now, I met her way back when I used to have a book stand at this, uh, at this vendor's market, right? And, you know, she, she was set up next to me. And during the summertime, she shaved her head. Bald. In fact, she, you know, she she come, you know, she come in. I palm that shit. I'm like, hey, girl, come here. Let me palm that shit. Be a nice little round head, smooth. Now, she was a chocolate sister. Chocolate sister, but real beautiful. Real, real beautiful facial features almost artistic you know now she didn't have a dunk on her she had nice hips on her she was she was she was more on uh that good thick because she had a waist like nice breast assistances um nice hips you know the butt wasn't poking out like that but you know they ain't stop guys now even though she had that bald head 
then I had to be her play cousin for some for the number of dudes trying to get at her. They weren't tripping over it because she was fine. Like we really don't be tripping over hair the way y'all think we be tripping over hair. You know, as long as that shit's yours, and as long as you keep basically just keep the shit up. Now, I'm saying that, and a lot of brothers will agree with me. But at the same time, there's some brothers. Hey, you might need to wear that. Uh, you might need to wear that weave or something. But that's some brothers. That's their preference. See, my whole point with even talking about all this is you can't say that all black men or even most black men are going for a certain type. It goes across the board. And really, part of the problem is that comes from people, women especially, paying too much attention to what the celebrities are doing. Like, they're like, you know, a lot of sisters will say, well, he got that light-skinned woman or he got that half-white woman or he got that foreign woman. Um... First of all, just because that celebrity got that woman don't mean everybody else does. Black male celebrities, rep the percentage of black male celebrities in the population, I'm going to be honest, it might, if you count, if you count every singer, rapper, um, actor, black male actor, uh, then start throwing it, and you know what? I'm let's have some more fun. Throw in like pro black pro athletes. You throw it all in. It probably it would not amount to one percent of the black male population. Hold on, let me let me look at a number. Hold on. All right, I had to do some quick math. Uh, in general, uh, just based on current statistics, there's roughly 21 million uh, black men in uh, the United States. Who you know were counted by the census. One percent of that is about two hundred thousand. There aren't two hundred thousand black male celebrities. You know, so we talking maybe one percent of one percent. You know, maybe somebody could sit there and really do the math, but it's not that many. You talking a few thousand, and out of that few thousand, only a small percentage actually. Is mating a woman, mating with a woman who may not look like the average black woman. If you really look at like a lot of these pro athletes, they they still marrying black women. Like many of these male celebrities, they marrying black women. They just marrying black women who keeping themselves in shape. You know, yeah, they're attractive, but shoot, if you married to somebody who got money, you don't have to work, don't have to be stressed out over shit. Well, yeah, you got time to go to the gym and get your ass fixed up. So they're going to look good. But the bottom line is, most, you know, most of these, uh, most of these top black men, the celebrities, I ain't going to say they top, but most of the black celebrities are dealing with black women. But see, part of the problem is too many black women, they looking at that one celebrity, one or two celebrities who ain't dealing with a black woman. And they say, oh, they don't want us. No, that particular celebrity might not want you. And even then, even if he met you, he probably wouldn't want you. He, for whatever reason, that celebrity got with one woman. And, you know, um, I'm actually do a video on that whole uh, thing called, it's called an apex fallacy. Basically, women focused on what the top percentage of men are doing and applying that to the whole group. You know, any black males at that level of fame, money, whatever, they on a di they, their whole vibe is different. So women are silly to use them as examples, but you got to look at what the rank and file are doing on the street, who they trying to get at. And it's all types of women. I mean, shoot, I remember even, even some, even though some brothers have gotten on social media and say, you know, complain about black women's weight, there's still another group of brothers like, yeah, come on, let's go, let's get it on. And I remember this brother who would definitely f uh, fall into that good, good man category. He's talking about, he loving a woman about 200 pounds. Shoot. So, you know, and you know, this 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 video was more more just like off the cuff as uh the master teacher Black Gnostic Speaks would say. But it it's I just had to say it. It's like for the sister, stop tripping. You probably got something that some brothers want. You know, maybe not the brothers, you know, maybe not that ideal man brother that you're checking for, but there's some brothers who feel him. 
you know, we got to let, as long as you're in decent shape. And even if you're not, there's still some brother probably feeling. Because we, we, I mean, let's be real. We, we checking for everybody. Black men checking for everybody. In fact, to the point it can be detrimental because we got a reputation for being thirsty. And trust me, that is another video. So stop tripping. Don't worry about who, uh, don't worry about who every, you know, who, you know, some man you might be looking at getting with or some man you'll never meet getting with. Worry about presenting your best self. You know, and focusing on the men who like looking back at you when you're looking at them. So, anyway. That's it for today. Talk to y'all later. Peace.